Hello friends, welcome back to another video. Today I am here in Genshin Impact once again because today I am going to be building a character. And if you haven't already guessed, um, I am building Lisa today. I know it's kind of strange that I've decided to do this now of all times, but you know, I just thought that her character and gameplay were actually pretty cool with all of the stacks and I can already see the comments, don't you dare say anything, okay thank you. Um, but basically we're just gonna be getting artifacts, leveling her weapon, and leveling up her talents as well as ascending her. Currently I have three artifacts that I do think that I'm going to be using for this. Um, the first one here is this goblet that I've had for a while, it's kind of just been sitting around in my inventory. I didn't really have a use for it since I never really played with any Electro characters before, but I guess now is finally the time that I'm going to be using it. Today I just did a bit of quick pre-farming. I ended up getting this flower and I rolled it and 4th stab rolled crit damage, so I thought I would just, you know, save it for the video. And I also got this incredible looking crown from Strongbox today. Um, all we pretty much are doing is ascending her to I think level 80 is where I want to cap it and for her weapon she's going to be carrying the Witsith. In a previous summons video I'm pretty sure it was the Yalon one but I managed to get my first ever Witsith and now I am finally going to be giving it a use. Second temple. Four star. <gasps> oh my gosh finally! I got a Witsith! Now, of course, I don't know much about Lisa, so if you know um, what characters can be used to support her, or give her buffs, or anything like that, I would be glad to know. First, I think we're going to start with leveling this flower. I think it looks great, unless it rolls absolutely horribly. Ooh, okay, already off to a good start. We got a crit damage roll. It is a little bit low, but you know, I'll take what I can get. Let's get a look here and see. Attack, okay, not the worst. There's no like bad stats on this flower, but I would appreciate if it rolled into crit damage at least one more time and maybe some crit rate. <laughs> Ooh, a crit rate, let's go. Oh my gosh, if last stat rolls into crit damage, I'm literally gonna be so happy. I just hope this video doesn't have to take as long as the current one that I'm doing, because I don't have that much time. <laughs> For reference, one video I'm currently working on has been in progress since October 4th. It's currently November 1st. Please send help. Oh my god, no way, this is amazing, okay, wow, that's awesome. Okay, so we have our first artifact, this amazing looking flower, hello, this is beautiful. Okay, now I guess let's raise this crown. Hopefully it rolls into crit damage a lot because, um, <laughs> I don't know what force stat is gonna be, but I hope it's not death. Oh no. I just want it- all I ask is that it gets crit damage once. Okay, crit damage. Maybe we can get it twice. Give me another crit damage roll, please? Crit damage, crit damage. Dang it. Okay. Um, maybe next roll will be crit damage. Oh. Stop! No way! <laughs> this is- oh my god, this is amazing! Stop it! I'm gonna close my eyes. Okay. I'm not looking, I'm not looking, I'm not looking. Are you kidding me? I hate everything. Ah, look at this! Oh my god! She already has 50% crit rate. And she only has two artifacts. I swear, if Lisa is my best built character, I might hit somebody, but at this point, who even cares? Now, let's, I guess, level up this book, because I did get a few of the little hook thingies. I'm not even sure what they're called, but I'm not even, how much crit damage does this have once it's maxed? And by max, I mean up to level 80, but level 60, ooh, 
40% already. Oh my god, am I gonna be able to raise it fully? No, I'm not. There's no way. No, I'm not going to, because I just need some more purples. 45%. That's pretty crazy. Oh my god, I want to look at it now. Jeez, man. Yo, should I become a Lisa main? Actually, no. They have a terrible reputation. I don't want to carry that. <laughs> Okay, anyways, let's ascend her. I can only ascend her once because I didn't farm the materials, but she's level 60 now, which is great. And we can also level her up, and we get a free wish. So hey, I'm not complaining, but I am so happy with this. She has a solid amount of elemental mastery, and I'm pretty sure that is her ascension stat as well. Yes, it is, I see. Um, I think- let's level her talents up. What are we leveling here? Okay, seems like E is the most important. I've looked through this a little bit. It seems like, um, it stacks. So, pressing it, um, gives it a stack, and then it goes up to three stacks, and then you hold it, and then it, like, does big damage, basically. E is gonna be the most important, but I think what I'm gonna go for is, like, a basic talent level of, like, 688, because that's, like, what every character needs to, you know, function. Maybe we can get everything to level 4. I don't think I'll have enough books for it, but we can try. Also, I have around 8 million Mora, so we should be good for that. <laughs> I'm- I think I'm out of resin. Yeah, I don't have any resin. And I don't think I can buy any from the teapot, because it's not Monday yet. So I think as a first day for progress, that is absolutely amazing. So I think what I can do now is wait until tomorrow so that my resin can refill and then we can just get right back to it in the artifact domain. So I guess I will see you guys tomorrow. The next day. Okay, so it is now day two and I've decided today that I'm going to focus on more of ascension rather than artifacts for now because I do have a limited amount of resin and I decided before I condense it, maybe I should just go and fight the Electro Hypostasis as many times as I can in order to get her to level 70. Hopefully we don't have to fight this any more than three times, but um, yeah, I guess let's go. Okay, first run, please give me three. I am lazy. Yes. Ew. Okay, second run, please be three pieces. Yes. Ew. Okay, one more run if we get three. Two more if we only get two. So hopefully we can get three next time. Okay, please be three, please be three, please be. Ah. Oh. Are you kidding me? Wait. Wait, what? Oh. I. Okay. Never mind then. Alright. There we go. Level 70. There's one more ascension and we should be good to clear. Looks like we need pretty much everything. Um, I can craft some of the gems and probably steal some Valberries from somebody else's world because those are a pain to collect. The next day. Alright friends, so it is either day 3 or day 4 of this Lisa video, I don't remember which one, but as promised yesterday, I said I was going to be focusing on Ascension, I think. Um, but that is what we are going to be doing, so right now, Lisa is pretty close. We just have to fight the Hypostasis and gather some more Valberries. Um, I think I have some Valberries growing in my teapot right now, so I might actually be able to nab those up so that we can have a little bit of an easier time with this. So I will go check that now, and then we will go fight the cube. Oh, yes, they are ready, and as you can see, we have some Valberries in there. So let's collect all these and see how many we have. Well, I got an achievement. I don't even know what it's for, but okay. Alright, how many more do we need now? Okay, we only need six. So if I find two Valberry plants just somewhere in the wild, that should cover it. Right, right. 
Alright, so, I'm pretty sure that is all of them, is it? It is. Okay, that feels great. So now looks like we are going to have to hopefully not fight this stupid cube more than four or five times. I have four rounds of resin today, as you can see. Um, so yeah, I guess let's just go and fight it. Alright, so we finally have enough pieces, and we can ascend her. Yes, we can. Let's go, level 80. Yay! Oh my gosh, I'm so happy. Finally building Lisa. <laughs> Only a few years late, though. Alright, can we get her to 80, though? We can. Let's go. Yay! Alright, there we go. Ooh, and we get a free wish. I'm not gonna use it right now, but there's that. So what it looks like now is we can either level up her talents, uh, and the last thing we need, unfortunately, is a sand still. So I think I'm gonna get her talents up, see if I can any. I can, I can do one. Let's do this one for now. I might- I could either do 688 or 686. I'm considering doing 686 because it costs less, but um, I'm not sure, so I want to craft some more purples and then see where we are. Okay, looks like we're out of books, but we're not entirely out of books. I don't want to use all of these, but I think we might just have to, because you know, do it for Lisa. Maybe I should make this like a series, like building starter characters. I don't know. So we can make two at the best case. Um, book bookies. So let's see. Maybe we'll get Sinsho. I hate you, Sinsho. You, oh. Mm. Well, we can level up her talent to eight. So I think I might just be sticking with six, eight, six because her E is. Oh my god, the slime condensate. Because her E is important, I spent all my slime condensate to build Zhongli. <laughs> How many do we have? We need four. Thanks, Dory. Okay. Now. Now, for real. We're gonna... <laughs> we're gonna get it to level eight. Yeah, There we go. Okay. I'm so happy about this. This is great. Now I can be known as the person who built Lisa and doesn't use her. But who cares? Okay. So tomorrow, I really want to accomplish this sans. And if we don't get it, I'm going to be very sad. And I don't want this to take a few years. But I will see you guys tomorrow. The final day. Okay, so it's now the next day. And I did manage to actually get a Sans first condensed roll this time today. I wasn't recording because I wasn't actually expecting to get something. But I can show you the Sans. Let's see. Where's Lisa? There she is. The Sans is this. Now, I'm very scared. That last stat might roll death and then go all into it, but I don't want to be like, you know, I want to be optimistic if that makes sense. Maybe we will get crit rate, and if we do get crit rate, I will be very happy with that. And that also means that I don't have to spend all of my condensed in this domain again. And hopefully this is the last day I have to do this. So, I think I'm just going to go for the gusto and throw all of these in here. Get plus 18, so we can, uh maybe get some crit damage but I guess what can we do besides go for it let's go ooh um okay well okay well it it got crit rate first of all which is amazing and it went into it like three times I think which is pretty incredible if we get last roll as crit damage I would literally jump out of my seat. Like, I would be so happy. And that would mean that this build is over. So hopefully, with this last roll here, we can get a crit damage roll. Damn. Okay, well, we got HP roll. I think... Uh, let's just see what this looks like when we equip it. It gives plus 10 crit rate, which I think is a bit overkill. Actually... I think that looks really good. You know what? I think I'm actually gonna stick with this. I'm tired of making this video. <laughs> but that means that Lisa's build is 
actually finished. She has weapon, we did talents yesterday, and she has full artifacts. Oh my gosh, we're actually done. <laughs> I guess now all that's left to do is test her build. I want to do two tests. I want to do an overloaded test with her as a main DPS. And then I also want to do a spread or aggravate test with the dendro reaction. So the first team that I'm going to actually go with is this spread team. We have two dendro units to increase elemental mastery for Lisa. And we're going to be using Tignari and Dendro Traveler to create dendro fields that applies constant dendro application so that we can use Lisa to create the spread reaction. I know for second comp I wanted to do like an overloaded related um, Lisa build, but I think I'm just going to do like typical main DPS build with like Singcho and Bennett. So we're going to have Zhongli, Lisa, Singcho, and where is Bennett? There's Bennett. So that's going to be our second team. Alright, let's get to testing the first spread comp. Alright, hopefully it doesn't take too long to kill the Corolla. 400 superconduct with, with the shield on as well. She does have 72% crit, I believe, so that should- okay. Let's apply Tignari E. Ooh, 19k quicken. Did you see that? That was awesome. I will say her energy generation is not the greatest. Okay, let's try. Fourteen K charged. Ooh, twenty one K. That was actually pretty cool. I couldn't quite see the max for that test, but I think it was around 20, 30 something. So now, let's go try the DPS version. Okay, let's go. 3k. Ooh, 10k. What? Stop! Oh my god! Why did it do more than the Dendro build? <laughs> oh my god. Well, overall, I would say I'm very impressed with this build, more than I thought it would be. In conclusion, honestly, I think the starter characters are really underrated because when built correctly, they can do massive amounts of damage, as you just saw. If you have any more suggestions on things I can do with my Lisa, don't say anything weird, I can already see the comments, thank you. Um, and if you want to see more building videos in the future, maybe I should make a series on building starter characters. But yeah, I guess I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, friends! Also, peep the new outro I made it the other day. Tell me what you think. Please look at it. <laughs>